Well, now the Chicago mayor, Lori Lightfoot, has lost re-election. She'll be leaving office soon. And a lot of journalists in the city are thrilled about that because Lightfoot waged a war on press freedom. At one point, she even refused to let white reporters interview her. Lightfoot also pulled the press credentials of reporter William J. Kelly because she didn't like his reporting. On Wednesday, at a city council meeting, Kelly gave Lightfoot this send-off. The people of Chicago elected you. You shut down our schools, you shut down the churches, you shut down the businesses. You did the one thing that I thought could never happen. As somebody who, who was born and raised on the south side of Chicago, I never thought in my life that I would ever see the city of Chicago brought down so low as you have managed to bring it down. Shame on you. That is a legacy that you are going to have to carry. Future historians are going to have a, a hard time understanding how you, are, how you ever even became mayor of the city of Chicago. I hope that you realize what damage you have done to the city. I hope that after today's city council meeting, you will pack your suitcase and get the hell out of my city. She's going to be getting the hell out of office, that's for sure. William J. Kelly is a journalist in Chicago, and he joins us now. Uh, William, great to have you on the program. I can't help but notice that was a city council meeting. It wasn't a press briefing. It wasn't a Q&A. That looked like a public comment. Why was that the circumstances of your statement to Mayor Lori Lightfoot? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Will. Well, yeah, like everything else in the city of Chicago now, it's, you know, Mission Impossible uh, meets Kobayashi Maru. We had uh, traditionally Mayor Lightfoot would do a press conference after every city council meeting. But of course, this being her last uh, city council meeting, uh, due to the fact that she lost her reelection campaign, she canceled her city uh, council press conference. So I knew that if I was going to have a chance to speak to her at all, I would have to register for the public comment section. <laughs> and, uh, and that's exactly what I did. It was a lottery, only five people, only five names were drawn from a big glass bowl. And miraculously, mine was one of them. Right. And uh, I was given three minutes and, you know, 60 seconds worth the distance run times three. Uh, you know, <laughs> luck of the Irish there, but not without effort. You had to enter the lottery to get a chance to speak to your mayor. Why was this so important for you to say what you said to Lightfoot? Well, it was extremely important, Will, because over the course of the last few years, a number of people have contacted me, reached out to me and said, you know, here's a question I would like for you to ask the mayor. Uh, here's something I would like you to say. Uh, police officers uh, who have been overworked and obviously uh, mistreated and a spike in police suicides as a result. And, uh, and I feel like this particular city council meeting was an opera, was the last chance that I may ever have to actually tell Mayor Lori Lightfoot not just uh, what was on my mind, but what was on the minds of so many Chicagoans and I'm just right. thankful that I had the opportunity to do it. And I heard in that moment where you told her you hope the history is written accurately, that you intend to write that book, that you intend to write the history of these years in Chicago. We could hear that in the video clip of your appearance there in the city council. What we cannot hear, William, is the response of the mayor or the council. What did they say to you at the end of your statement? Well, you know, to add insult to injury, after I'm done uh, giving my public uh, comment or victim impact statement is how I actually viewed it. Uh, one of Mayor Lightfoot's uh, city council allies uh, uh, heckled me. <laughs> you know, she actually said, uh, you know, she called me a derogatory name. And then she said that all of the problems that Mayor Lori Lightfoot, uh, you know, had to handle or mishandle was the result of the pandemic. And, you know, I just, I guess, channeled the entire city of Chicago and uh, let this uh, city council woman know that she was, in fact, the pandemic. Well, in Chicago, for the moment at least, it looks like there's some relief from the pandemic. We hope that the circumstances in that city, which have been largely made it unlivable for the past several years, are alleviated. And uh, we appreciate you hopping on with us tonight, William J. Kelly, and for that moment in front of Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.